Welcome to Tips and Tricks video tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your products. From your dashboard, first click on WP eStore, then select Add Edit Products. Now that you're on the Create a Product page, you first want to input the product name. Second, and most importantly, your price. There are many options to consider when creating a product. Today, we're going to go over the basics. If you'd like to, you can also upload a thumbnail image. If you have your own button image to upload, maybe with custom text or with a preferred look, you can upload that file here. If you'd like your customers to order multiple quantities, you can go ahead and check mark this box. Now, if you're selling a digital product such as an ebook or an audio file or even a video file, you can go ahead and upload the file here so that it will automatically be protected. And of course, you want to make sure the downloadable is checked. Here you can set up the download duration if you prefer not to use the default settings we set earlier in the basic configuration. Likewise, you can set the download limit here. Sometimes your product might require variations. So for example, if you're selling a t-shirt, one of the options would be sizes. You would put the different sizes like small, medium, and large. And then the second variation could be your colors. For shipping and tax, and if you don't want to use the default settings we created earlier in the basic configuration, you can put the specific item shipping cost and tax here. And if you want to keep inventory and let others know about your inventory, you can put your available copies here. Click on Save. And now you've created your first product. Next, I'm going to show you how to clone settings to create a new product. This way, it saves you time. First, you need to find out the ID number of the product you would like to duplicate. In this example, it's three. So here we would put three and click on Copy Product Details. Now that the product has been duplicated, now we can customize your next product. Now we'll change the name and change the price. And of course, you want to create the custom changes that are required. If you are selling multiple products that are very, very similar, it's a good idea from the very beginning to create one product as you'd like it, and then go ahead and duplicate the settings over and over again as you create more products, and then make the tiny adjustments as required. To view your products and to make sure it was duplicated, you can go ahead and click on Manage Products on the left-hand side, and voila, you'll see your products there. And that's all there is to creating a product and duplicating a product. Now you can move on to creating a checkout page and adding your product display to your page. This way you can begin processing orders. In the next video, I'll show you how to do just that. Thanks again for purchasing WP eStore. I'll see you in the next video.